Welcome to Investors Insights. Our topic today is moving fast into the holiday. Uh, good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Uh, looking at the, the calendar this week, all the activities that are going on. Uh, we've got the Labor Day weekend, football season uh, here in, in the South, especially uh, kicking in full steam, SEC. Yep. And, um, you know, people need to understand that just because we got a break coming up and a holiday, uh, that it's not going to be dull this week in multiple ways. Uh, Bobby, you brought up about the calendar uh, in the meeting. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, a lot going on this week. So it kicks off today with manufacturing numbers. Manufacturing numbers have been pretty good the past couple months. We want to see that continue. Uh, then also a Tuesday trade balance. That's going to be important. Well, you know, speaking of trade, we're also watching the NAFTA trade talks. It was reported this morning that they are right. hours yes. away from a deal with Mexico. I don't think any of us expected that a few months ago. That's correct. So that so all, all the trade numbers will be important. Seeing how that plays out could see if these trade numbers continue to get, you know, which way they go. Right. Yeah. yeah. Very, Very much important. so. important. Uh, and then also consumer confidence on Tuesday. Uh, both consumer okay. and business confidence are near record levels. So we want to see that continue. Uh, Wednesday is a huge day. Mortgage applications. Mortgage applications have been falling. Uh, higher rates could be the culprit there. Uh, then also GDP revisions. We expect those to stay above 4%. Right. Uh, and then actually over the weekend, the Atlanta Fed said that the third quarter GDP is growing at 4.6%. That's a solid number. That's, that's a great number. Thursday, personal income, also consumer spending. And, yeah, well, I know we're watching consumer spending very closely right. because a report came out recently that showed that the savings rate was at 6.8% for June. And that's and that's above what we've, we've kind of seen. Now, it's a little bit of dip from the crisis era, but it's higher than what we would expect in seeing such strong consumer sentiment and spending. So if we have high spending and high savings, that's great because you get best of, best of both com- worlds. Great combination. Exactly. And so what do savings do? Savings become investment. Investment goes into the market, and we see prices rise. So that's why it's so important for our clients to see that savings rate as well as spending rate. Very much yeah. so. Mm-hmm. Also on Thursday, core inflation. So that's the number that the Fed looks at the closest. Uh, core inflation expected to come at 2.3%. That's a little above what uh, the Fed's looking for. Right. So uh, mm-hmm. watching that carefully because it, higher inflation, mm-hmm. we need to watch that. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. But the point needs to be made, and you brought it up, Trey, in terms of NAFTA. Mm-hmm. Uh, people were worried about NAFTA. They're worried about mm-hmm. the tariffs, cause volatility in the market. You know, do I need to sell? Do I need to get out of the market? You know, these are good examples. All this data, when you bring it together, is good examples of why investors need to stay focused on the facts mm-hmm. and to navigate through the emotion. Uh, because we've seen that throughout this year. That's and, right. and that's going to continue to be a theme as we go on into to uh, midterm elections and other other things, other data that we're going to have. Mm-hmm. Uh, the point is, is that if corporate earnings are doing well, mm-hmm. consumer spending and saving, those are the facts to stay mm-hmm. focused on versus all this noise that's out there. So on that note, we have, hope you have a fantastic week as you go into the holiday, that you're planning uh, your football season and your tailgating Labor Day weekend, and also knowing that we're going to keep our eye on things and the data that's coming at us. And in addition to that, we really appreciate all the questions and emails and and comments that are being made, and especially to those of you who continue to send this vlog to others just to share the information. That's a huge compliment to us, and we greatly appreciate it. Have a great week, and we look forward to uh, talking to you soon.